Chaos and mayhem and chaos and turn not paying table. rent. And turn the tables <laughs> up. <laughs> I win. <laughs> and don't yeah, pay yeah. no rent. You ain't doing none of that. Turn the table yeah, over. But yeah. they got real <laughs> And they raise their voice. No, 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 no company at a certain period of time. Ah, no, I can do what I what? want. I'm grown. If you grown, get your own. Yes. Yeah. Anybody know what we talking about? Who been like that grown? Remember we been grown at 18 and 16? Yeah. I can't have company. Yeah, oh. right. And, and listen, and we're paying no bills. <laughs> and when we get older, we get to realize what our parents are telling us. Yeah. You need to grow up. They said and it. Mature. They said it in a funny way in Friday. Right? He said, every time, Pop said, every time I come in this, in this kitchen, you ain't eating all the hog moths, all the cereal, all the chicken. I like to eat pig feet. You know what I mean? And I thought it was funny, but that was the truth. Because, like, as you come, you get become entitled. I miss Kids her. become entitled. Yeah. You know, I had a friend of mine, she got a little baby in his hope, and they said, oh, you got a little kid. Well, the kid just go around the house just throwing stuff on the ground and all this and that, and there's no supervision. Uh-huh. All right? And I said to myself, kids need supervision. Yeah. Yeah. Kids need supervision. Because if they grow up without the discipline, guess who's going to give them the discipline in the street? Police. The police. That's right. I said put your hands on the vehicle. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Is that, is, 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 are they repeating themselves? Are they going to repeat themselves? No, they're not going to repeat themselves. My father used to give us a cassette tape every year, right? First time he gave it to us, we thought that was a little wallet or a change purse was some money. Mm -hmm. He gave us Billy Holiday, God bless the child to have his own. He was a year out. Uh -oh. <laughs> Rustin, okay. 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 He gave us that. Invites growth. Anybody yeah, hear that? So yeah. I, listen, we want you, you to want grow to go up. to school. Bring the, that's right. Go ahead. Come you on. You want to exercise. You want to do nutrition, all that kind of stuff. Because, like, without our help, we ain't going to be able to enjoy our wealth. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And if you got a good person in your life, they want to help you with your health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Invites growth in the what? In the partner. Mm -hmm. Right. All right? That's real important. Right. That's real important. You should not be the same person you was last year. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. hear that? Yeah. 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 We should see some type of growth. Yep. Mentally, spiritually, economically, mm -hmm. physically, legally, something should be showing that we what? We're growing. Mm -hmm. All right? And if you're not growing with somebody, then maybe you got to take a look at what the decision that we made. If you're not growing, you're going. <laughs> hey, an unhealthy person uh -huh. is jealous of their partner. Anybody had anybody who was jealous of you? That's so that's sad to see men jealous of their woman. Women be jealous of men. Like women jealous. Yes. Like I would like to say something. Come on. Uh -huh. um, I was in a relationship for four years, right? Yes, ma'am. And in that four years, you talk about stubborn and, 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 and weak minded. It was me, okay. Mm. But I still struggled to change. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like every accomplishment that I made. This guy would always criticize me and put me down. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of his statements, I'm gonna give you two of them. One of his statements was, Why are you trying to be such a martyr? Because I used to be a nurse and I, I, I would uh, go to work every day. I never missed a day in the whole 40, in, in the whole 40 years, 40 years that I worked, I never missed a day. Mm. I got sick, but I still went to work and went to the you see what I'm saying? So he asked me one day, he said, why are you trying to be a model? You know, them people don't really need you. They're going to send somebody else in your place and all that stuff like that. You know, okay, I got over that. All mm -hmm. right. One day we were arguing. And the first thing he said to me was, every time we get to arguing, you run to God. Mm -hmm. Why you keep running to God? What the hell is he going to do for you? Mm. That's what he used to say. And I turned around and I looked him dead in his face. I didn't make a muscle. I looked at him and I said, I can't talk to you. Mm -hmm. So who else am I going to talk to? Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. When you won't even allow me to have friends in the house. Mm -hmm. Who else am I going to talk to if I can't talk to you? Mm -hmm. yeah. And after that, so 
something just changed in me uh -huh. to the point of where I just decided, I mean, I made a decision. Enough was enough. Mm -hmm. You got to go. Mm -hmm. I, I, done spent, I done spent my time and energy and everything trying to balance stuff out. But all you do is just come in there and just pin yeah. everything. You know, mm -hmm. whatever little hole he could get into, he would do it. And you talking about that silence thing. Mm -hmm. You talking about that silence thing? Mm -hmm. I would know who this man is Monday and Tuesdays. By Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I didn't know who he was. Because he was always up here. Mm -hmm. My game. And, and that silence thing, mm -hmm. he would play it on me. Yeah. And he would go into another part of the house. And he would stay there for hours. And I said, where to? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I lived with that treatment for, 40, for four years, mm -hmm. okay? And it just got to the point where I said, he's not, he's not. Mm. So I found some things out about him that he didn't know that I knew. Mm. And when I confronted him on it, the first thing he said was, I'm a free man. I said, well, wait a minute, hold on. Free man. <laughs> if you're a free man, then spread your wings and fly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got people of God, you know, because they speaking life mm -hmm. into you, and the one that's speaking death is the one's the devil. Mm -hmm. So that bring me real here, real quick, then we gonna get up in here. That's the difference between a boy and a man, right? Mm -hmm. Boy, my man told me means a burden on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell who you dealing with. Are they a burden? Uh, do I gotta put money on their books? I can't buy diapers because I gotta put money on your books because you in jail again. <laughs> I'm going to the man. The man means what? Meeting all needs. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Big okay. difference. The big difference when you mess with a boy and a girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Go fool. Go fool. Thank you for saying that, sis. Thank you. A person that's un unhealthy mm -hmm. is jealous of what? Their partner. Right. How many men in here got jealous of your woman because she made more money than you? Better credit. Be honest. Anybody? Nobody? No, no guys? Felt she jealous? made me take that trash out. <laughs> she made one. I had we had a new guy who called his lady every day at work until she got fired. Kept calling the boss. I Jealous. know you're having sex with my wife. Jealousy. Some men want more attention from their woman than what the woman show their children. Mm. It becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. The jealousy. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a big problem. Mm -hmm. Big problem. And women too. Some women like that are also. They want all the what? The who watch Lifetime on television? Anybody watch Lifetime? Yeah. All that's on there all day long. This right here, all day long, all that time. Wise with knives. <laughs> <laughs> I told them I loved you. And they don't stab you, they don't love you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the next one, y'all. Hey, a healthy person who a help the person who's healthily healthy in love mm -hmm. experiences true intimacy. That's a big word right there. Intimacy. Yeah. yeah. I never like that word. We'll say intimacy can be broken down like this. Into me I see. 
So inside of me, a part of me that's vulnerable, I can share with somebody in my relationship and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay? You can't be in a one-sided uh, intimacy like relationship. This has to be a give and a go so we can see who we really are. Intimacy. Mm -hmm. I give you my pain, let me hear yours. Mm -hmm. Here's my weaknesses, let me hear yours. Mm -hmm. Here's my fears, let me hear yours. These are my scripts, let me hear yours. Um, these are my insecurities, mm -hmm. let me hear yours. Um, um, this is my childhood, let me hear yours. Together, we get to know each other. And when we do have sex, that's ecstasy. Everybody hear that? Mm -hmm. Because intimacy is not about sex, it's about me knowing you and you knowing me. Intimacy. Into me, I see. Right. Hey, that? Yes. When sex do come, it's like what? Yeah. It's like, yo, listen. All right. How about emotion? Oh, the opposite of an unhealthy person is what? Emotional runners. Who run from their emotions? Emotional runners. Why is that unhealthy? As an individual seen coming it? into a relationship and you're an emotional runner. Have y'all seen it? Have y'all seen it? Or have y'all done it yourself? Come on. Uh, you setting yourself up for pain, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Real good, Robert. We'll tell you this too. We'll tell you that sometimes uh you might be willing to go all in, like John Legend saying that song, all in, right? But the other person <laughs> the last time the last time somebody said they loved me, sometimes they was all in, they broke my heart. Uh -huh. So I'm a, I'm a run. Because it's going to be fail anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So let me just get this out the way and keep it moving. But if I do that, I'm not giving myself an opportunity to enjoy a healthy relationship. Brother Man, who just spoke? What's your name? Wayne Miles. Okay, Mr. Miles. Are you in recovery, Wayne? Yes, sir. I'm going to stop me up clean. Yes, sir. I'm going to stop me up clean. Come on. Let's say 60 days. Give it to him, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Anybody here? Emotional runners. Anybody else ran? Anybody ran from emotions? Feel ran. Yes. No, nobody get scared when somebody said they love them. Who who got it? Who, who the other person got to say it first? When you get with somebody you like them, and who got to say it first? You got, can you say it or they got to say it? I can say it first. Who can't say it first? I, I, I used to say it first. They say how I feel, right? Huh? Okay. You say it first? Yeah. You say it like, I love you. Or, I love you. I love you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but that word to me is very really, really powerful. You got to be. Just don't say it to me. Just don't say it to me. I feel like you have to show me. Right. Uh, it, 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 love is a verb, y'all. You can't tell me if it's in one month, six months, right. give it some time. It's gradual. You love me. Figure out, do you love you? It's gradual. I know I love me. If nobody else don't love me, but but that that got to be, uh, mm -hmm. you know, got to be something. I, I just can't take what you say. Oh, I love you, boo. Can a mom say anything? Yeah, that's the heart is to us. But the hearts expose right. everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. My rewards, you don't know anything about what are my uh, expectations. That's right. 
So I can you turn around and say, I love you. Mm -hmm. You love me as a human being? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. But you have to sit and tell me six months. That ain't even really a whole year. Uh -huh. I love you. Remember that song? You, infatuation. That I'm yeah. 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 No, that infatuation. That is something that grows. Right. Yeah. You know, only way you, only person I can see in my life be saying that you that I love you is is my grandkids. They knew born this I love you. Those are babies, my daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a different type of love. Right. But a man and a woman. Nah, it's superficial to me. Yeah. Five months, six months, thirty days, or we go to bed. Twenty-four hours. Night, wake up, who had nothing? Shit. <laughs> 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 we don't understand. Yeah. You know what's between these legs? Uh huh. That's it. Uh huh. 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 Uh Okay, that's what she was saying. Yeah, that's what she was saying. Oh, that's okay. It's okay, brother. It's okay. Come on, finish. Come on, finish. It's all right. Say no more. I said no. All right. Okay. Hey, next one. We almost finished, y'all. Um, healthy love. People that's healthy, they find pleasure in giving and receiving. Yeah, that's true. They find pleasure in giving and receiving. Right. The scripture says to receive, you got to what? Right. Give. You got to give. Anybody hear that? And you got some people in relationship, they are selfish. It's all about them. They are hoarders. Anybody hear that? It's the opposite right here. They selfish, they greedy, and they hoarders. And a relationship like that will not work. Suffocation. Anybody hear that? Come on. 80, 20, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Okay, all right. Okay. Hey, I remember your birthday, but you forgot mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. To receive, we got to what? Give. Yes. I was in a relationship, and Rob used to get on me about this. I gave, I gave this one girl money. Who, Lefty? <laughs> 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 no, he gave her his social security number I go, before he gave the money. I was like, danger, Will Robinson, danger. <laughs> <laughs> she was calling from, uh, what's that, that's, uh, from Verizon, and she needed my social security to get a phone. So I mm. gave her my social security number. Mm. I gave her some money, right? And I'm going to show, show you how it was a blessing in disguise. Eventually, as she, as she got stronger, and 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 and, and 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 you know, and her, her life started what elevated. She didn't need me no more, so she left me and broke my heart, right? But I'm gonna show you how good God is, cause I gave, cause I gave from here, right. and that was my woman, and that's how I get down, right? But I learned balance now. Everybody hear that, right? Like my Rob say, listen, you don't do for your girlfriend what you won't do for your wife. Yeah. Two two separate situations, right? You give you give it more to a girl that's not even your wife. So I have to learn the balance. But check how God, how good God is. So by me giving, that was my seeds. And check my harvest. In Philadelphia, the street I used to live on, they were turning down the streets because um Temple, you heard of Temple? Mm -hmm. Temple University wanted the block I was living on. Yeah. So they gave everybody, they gave everybody who owned the house a big check, six, six digits. Yeah. The people who were just Rooming in the house, we got what? Five digits. Oh, okay. So I got a check for $38,000. And my rent was free for four years. Anybody hear that? Yeah. This is after, this is post, after the what? The abuse I received, mm -hmm. emotional abuse, from the, the lady I was what? Chose to be in. Mm -hmm. So she didn't want me no more. I gave her what I had. She got it. But God blessed me double for my trouble. Yeah. And for me to what? Receive. You got to give. But today, right. And you got to put yourself in a position to receive the blessing, though. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Like, somebody told me, right? Uh-huh. I'm like, man, yo, man, you blessed, man. I said, you don't just know that I'm blessed. You looking on the outside. Uh -huh. So you see the car, the job, mm -hmm. the lady, the little bit of fresh little clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I said, son, you ain't see the sacrifice and the discipline. I said, some of y'all, because, you know, I do violence intervention. I've been doing violence intervention. Since 07, so I came home from prison. Mm -hmm. okay. And I work with a lot of different organizations now. I'm a director of regional services, right? Mm -hmm. I fall back on the lead mentor so I can get the, you know, share my experience. Because, like, a lot of people, like, hey, man, all these years, why you start your own? 
So I'm just waiting for my, uh, I got my EI and number, all that stuff. I'm just waiting for my 501c3 to come in the mail. Uh -huh. And my uh, clean hands and my business license from DC. Because it's a lot of paperwork, man, here in the city. Yeah, you get your own. This is like a city and a state or something? What's your name? My name's Andrew. 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 Andrew, okay. Yeah, so, um, mm -hmm. dude was telling me, he's like, man, I, man, I remember using the penitentiary with me, man. You ain't never come back. You ain't never re or re or nothing. I was like, son, because I kept my eye on the prize. And I did what I said I was going to do when I came home. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's like, you blessed, man. And I was like, son, I had to put myself in a position to be blessed. But I also had to learn how to share my blessing with others who deserve it. That's right. Because you can't do it. You know, I you think of talking about that relationship piece, right? I'm in a new relationship committed, John, too. Both of us recovering addicts, right? Mm -hmm. And... You know, um, you know, Colin Powell, his son shared some of his principles with us. Because we didn't really know who the man was. Mm -hmm. And one of his jobs was shared credit. Watch this. She saw how much money I was spending on a lot of stuff, right? She's like, nah, son, you didn't get you credit. Look, she called her federal. She got Navy Federal. Mm -hmm. She called them and said, look, I want to put this <coughs> on my credit card. Mm -hmm. Gave me a $1,000 limit like that. Mm -hmm. And up my credit score. And once she was telling her mother who I was, she's like, you know, the community organizer, activist. Because, you know, on my birthday, the National Action Network invited me to the gala, the 30th gala at Carnegie Hall, Al Shopping's belated birthday party and stuff. I was there. Mm -hmm. They took me to Atlanta City because her mother get points and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I got to relax and get a uh, sweetest massage and everything. I fell asleep. <laughs> but I'm just saying, me, I believe, because I said, no, sir, with a man, make a nation. That's mm -hmm. man's sole purpose, make a nation mm -hmm. and provide for the nation. Mm -hmm. The woman, she give birth to the nation. Come on. Because she the man with the woman. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she nurtures uh -huh. and she teaches the nation uh -huh. while the man goes out and toils and works to provide for the nation. And he come home, all he do is check in, make sure the, the man with the womb taking care of the house and everything. And he pretty structured. Uh -huh. He just be sitting back like, good job. Uh -huh. But you know, I learned something all my life. That's what I was looking for from him. My father, he was asking, good job, son. Woo woo. Because this week has been a challenging week for me. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I'm supposed to be in Texas. But I fell short twice this week. Once at the gas station. You know how you pull up somebody already in? You got the two gas jumps, mm -hmm. right? Gas pumps. Somebody had one gas pump. But they ain't move up all the way. So when you pull up, you ain't got enough room to take the gas pump and put it in your gas tank. So you ask the guy, can you move up, son? He had to. Mm -hmm. I'm from the streets too. Mm -hmm. So I, but I got, I got to remember, I'm just a piece of love. Don't push your shove, man. Mm -hmm. so I, I got a lot of people looking at me for, you know, advice. Mm -hmm. Something like that. But I fall short too, right? Because I'm doing being right. Mm -hmm. I fell into that trap. To the point where I told the dude, man, I knocked your motherfucking ass out. Mm -hmm. And then I had to remember, look, so you just come home. September 2nd from being in the hospital for a second time for them operating on your ankle. Mm -hmm. You got a bad knee. You ain't 20 years old no more. You ain't bad Old time might like continue. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I try to apologize. It was too late. The damage had already been done. Uh -huh. Now watch this though. This the hit. You know, since I've been home, man, I've been working towards, you know, having a healthier lifestyle, eating healthier, working out, and all that stuff. I go to water rows. Twice a week. I also work with a personal trainer twice a week. Uh, and I walk and stuff like that. Take your time, baby. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But um, yesterday, no, Wednesday, no, I was going to the plane. I was on the plane. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was dog tired, though, because I didn't know where I woke up at 3 30 in the morning, get stuff together, doing laundry, go to my morning meeting, and check me with my sponsor. Going to the bank, making sure money is here, 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 so when we travel, everything good, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I got on, got on a plane, and I don't say this because I, I ain't got nothing towards gay people, right? But gay people bring a lot of drama. Gay people just bring everything about them is a lot of drama because they extra with everything. And the gay stewardess guy walks down the aisle. When he get past me, he want to turn sideways because I got the aisle seat, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of him saying something to me, he goes in the corner in the front of the plane and he talking to all these women students and everybody looking at me. 
my insecurities pop up. Okay. Because I know they talk about me. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, fuck they talking about? Excuse my language. But um, this is what happened. So the female students come, say, sir, we can accommodate you here. It's one lady sitting there. There's two seats available there. And you have plenty of space. So I ain't going nowhere. Because if it wasn't for him, who ain't no man talking to y'all and y'all looking at me, Nobody would have never paid no attention to me. You tell him to come tell me in my face like a man. Then I stood up and was pointing point my finger and tell them to They put me on the plane, swim. And they didn't give me no refund. Put you off the plane. And took my money. Yeah. Anybody hear that? Yeah. No. I'm talking about what's clean time, what, 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 what is sponsored, what a network, go to meetings, got home group, air service, all that stuff, man. And, and, and like my career service too. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I go on the trenches with them young boys, we carry them pistols, and they trust me, man. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, man, all that to just say, man, I could have handled that a little bit differently. Because I got my feelings. They boost my ego. Mm-hmm. They hurt my little feelings. Made me feel like I wasn't doing enough work on myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's where I be at, man. Mm-hmm. You see? Because, like, I don't be sharing no service stuff, man. Because mm-hmm. service stuff ain't going to be a lot of magic things. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be really real with you. You know what I'm saying? How much time you got to clean clean now, brother? Almost four years. Give it to him, y'all. Be in position to be blessed. Yeah, you got to be in position, though. My man. You got to be in position, man. Good food, brother. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Hey, how about this right here, y'all? Um. Let me see what's we'll we stop that right here. Okay. Finds pleasure in giving and receiving. The opposite, we talk about selfish, greedy, and the hoarder. Next one. Healthy person does not try to change or control a person. Anybody try to control or change somebody? Does that work? No. no. All right. Try y'all, to y'all, heard that song? y'all heard that song back in the day? Uh, I, I, I got the power. <laughs> I got the power. Then later on, what did it say? It's getting kind of heavy. It's getting kind of heavy. It's getting kind of heavy. <laughs> 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 Don't try to control or try to change the individual, all right? Yeah. Hey, that's whose job to change somebody? God. That's God's. 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 We can't change nobody. No. All right? How many guys fell in love with a woman and a, stri- a stripper? Oh. Anybody fell in love with a stripper? Who tried to change a stripper? No. Okay, all right. <laughs> I Ask the nigga who tried to play, who tried to change the playboy. What happened, Thomas? <laughs> Let me just tell you. I used to introduce her to people as my new drug, right? When she relaxed, so did I. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Behind every behind every uh, slip is a skirt. Hey, dog's bar. How you doing? Mandatory. Abuse to keep the person in check. Y'all know what dog man is? Dog man. Y'all know what dog man is? Religion. Huh? Religion. Well, it's sort of like a belief system that goes unchanneled. Yeah. A belief, a belief system that goes unchanneled. Like if you in this house here, we Muslims. This is how it goes down. If you over here, you Christian, we Christians. It's a belief system that is not that does not get challenged. Right? How do we challenge it? When we say little stuff like little boys ain't supposed to cry. When you realize, when you do that, you realize you got these guys in these relationships, they can't articulate what's going on. They can ask you for sex, they can ask you for food, but they can't express their feelings and their emotions. Which ultimately is what a relationship is, is communication. Very good. Dogma, mandatory, abuse us to keep us what? In check. In check. It hurts me more than it hurts you. All because they what? Trying to what? Change, Change and control somebody. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Next one, y'all. Accepts limitation of self and a partner. Who accept the limitations of ourselves and our significant other? Everybody hear that? Accept right. our limitations. Everybody know they accept the limitations. That's important. Yeah. Cause that means that means you won't be trying to do too much more than you can what? Right. Hey. More than you can actually handle. More than you can actually handle. Too much on your plate. Exactly. Very yeah. good. Very good. Hey, the, uh, uh, the, that negative person, unhealthy is what? They live in denial. Don't even know I'm lying. Yeah. Anybody hear that? Yeah. No problem. If look, if I'm an ex drug addict, I know my limitations. I can't go around to the deli. That's my limitations. That's right. I can't hang out with, 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 uh, with Wet Willie because he's smoking crack. And do dirty. <laughs> limitations. You know what I'm saying? Anybody on the corner selling personal, I know my limitations. I can't hang around them. 
But a person who lives in denial think they can what? Make it around anybody. So I got to know my limitations. Now I'm selling this Coke. I'm just tasting it to make sure it's okay. I never lie to myself. <laughs> no, our limitations. Ain't about to say. Some people can't handle money. And it's okay to say you can't handle money. Dead presidents, I love them. I need them. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill. But me and my money early in recovery are enemies. Yeah. Money was never the problem. This is the problem. Yeah. And... This is the problem. And when the mind doesn't change and the heart doesn't change, yeah. I won't change. Yeah. And I do the wrong thing with that change. Anybody hear that? Because yeah. I don't respect my limitation when it comes to what? Money. Right. Money. Right. Money. Denial. Is it could be a trigger. Not for all of us, but for some of us. Yeah. And to thyself be what? True. True. All right. How about, how about oh, the You know what? what? I don't know if y'all see these temptations, but they said some very uh, important when they were talking about David Ruffin. Uh -huh. They said money will expose who you really are. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I mean? Expose who you really are. And I say, dang, that's it. Because once, you know, all his uh, shortcomings, mm -hmm. right, became um, or cornerstones or strongholds in his life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Last one, y'all. Mm -hmm. Welcomes, affections, and closeness. Yeah. Welcomes and embrace mm -hmm. affection and closeness. Mm -hmm. The opposite of that is emotionally shallow. Mm -hmm. Emotionally shallow. Hey, man, let's talk about this one. Welcomes, affections, and closeness. Why is that important? Affection and closeness. Welcome it. Right. Welcome yeah. it. That, that's the Welcome. cornerstone of being a human. Yep. Hey. Cornerstone of being a human. Y'all see this? I'm not giving y'all the middle finger. This is my finger. It's been injured, right? Okay. <laughs> I have six dogs, and I love my dogs. <laughs> she got dogs. She's a little dog, right? But her, she, I got a dog in the same family like her dog, right? And, and what happened was there was a pit bull outside. And he had no, no, no what? No leash and no owner. And my dog was out there fighting a pit bull. Of course, they, they were losing. But see, you never know how much you love something when it's in what? Danger. Everybody understand that? So I got affection that got real close with my dogs when that situation happens. And sometimes I get traumatized too, walking down the same place where it happened, it takes me back to when I, the episode and when it went down. And thank God for the Caucasian lady that showed up and the guy on the bicycle to help fight off the pit bull so we all lived in peace. But my finger almost got severed by my own dog. Well, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Very good. He was just like, right. He was just like, he was the heat of battle. Yeah. Very good. But, right. But then the situation took me deeper with what? Love with my dogs. Right. And I learned not to what? Even though they poop on the floor, or, or I, I learned to just, yo, don't cuss them out. Don't kick them down the steps. Love them. Don't break the spirit. Don't break the spirit. Break the spirit. Yep, but yep, correct yep. they what? The habit. Right, right. Everybody understand that? Yeah. That's why this is real important too. How many men in here can see a queen and a prostitute? She in there. Yep. Yeah. How many ladies can see a king and a crackhead? Yeah. He in there. Yeah. He in there. Yeah. You got to see past what they show us right. and see the greatness in them. Exactly. And you encourage them. But if we if we talk to them what we 